Hello. So, I'm really crappy at vlogging, so I'm really trying to get back in the swing of things. Um, I know I mentioned in my last video that I don't really have good filming setups. I just have my phone. Editing is difficult, so I try to do the least amount of editing as possible now. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, I think to get things kicked off... Um, coffee always, um, it's the one thing in my life that <laughs> is there for me, <laughs> is that sad, apart from the dog, Fred, no lick, don't lick your paws, stop it, it's that time of year where <sighs> he's just gonna lick his paws, so, Okay, um, I'm not quite sure what this video is going to be. It's going to be just bits and pieces, hence why I started those. <laughs> um, I've only done one, and that was, I believe, in my old apartment, so I don't even know. Um, anyhow, not important. I'm, see, okay, as I unmask, this is what happens. Um, uh, my journey of unmasking from my autism and ADHD it has been a ride. <laughs> it's been very triggering and also very helpful, but I end up going on rants and rambles, so I'm so sorry if that ends up happening. I can't necessarily control it, it's just what my brain thinks. Anyway, um, books. I have some books that I had recently purchased from Amazon. Um, I have, like, a running list of things on there, like, I think it's under my wish list, but I don't really pay that much attention. I just put them in a list, and they're there and saved for when I do get around to buying them. So, as I am able to purchase things, I will, excuse me, Ooh. oh my god, I cannot stop fidgeting, I'm so sorry. Um, so as I whatever. As I order things, I just check them off the list. So, um, I have a few things. A lot of, I don't have actually that many books here. How many are they? One, two, three, four, five, six books, but three of them are, I'll start with those. These, they're the Witch's Almanac. Um, these are old editions. I have the, I believe, 2023 version. I don't remember what the cover looks like. It's in my bedroom right now, and I'm not going to go get it. So, um, I have this one. I like these because they're kind of like bathroom readers. They're evergreen. They don't, uh, I mean, like the, the... Uh, Zodiac information might be slightly different, obviously, from year to year, but um, as far as, like, the, it's kind of like a Reader's Digest with, like, little stories and little bits and tidbits and stuff for reading, and then um, we've got the calendars and everything like that, so... It's always fun. I like I like keeping them around. Um, I had initially, my very first one was uh nineteen no not nineteen two thousand and nineteen maybe. I could not find that one on Amazon. These are. I'm so confused. Oh, I don't know how many issues they come out with in one year, but geez, I just realized that I've got issue 39, 2020 through 21. That's spring of 20. Oh, okay. Spring of 2020 through 2021. Uh, this one is issue 40. It's spring of 2021, 2022. And it's the sun rays of hope. This one was stones. The Foundation of Earth, which I always, I always think like the, what are they called? Uh, like the 
category or the theme theme that's the word theme the theme of these books is always cool um because they change and then this one is the spring of 2022-2023. Uh, and this one is the moon transforming the inner spirit. So, yeah, there's like interesting little tidbits in here. The moon and green cheese. So, yeah. Like old wives' tales and just weird, um, I guess stories that would have been passed down had Christianity not taken over, I guess. I really don't know. I don't know. But I like them. So I have them just for when I want to read something but I don't know what to read. And that's kind of hard for me to do right now because I'd like ugh, my reading list is long. I have a lot of books I'm reading right now. Um, just going through whatever. Um, so I've got this. this. is the 78 Degrees of Wisdom. It's a tarot book. I have, um, I've been doing my fool's journey. Um, I've not been very consistent with it. I was pretty consistent with it for like the first six or seven months, but then it kind of dropped off as I moved and uh, moved into this apartment, and then, you know, I've gained a cat, so I've got that, and, you know, but there's a podcast that I listened to called Know Thyself, and they were the first place that I heard about this book, um, on there, and then, um, I've seen a couple of other people, like, on TikTok, there's Madam Adam, he's a, a tarot reader, um, and he's recommended this book, so, um, yeah, I'm really interested in this book so much, because I really need to, I don't know, I, I like pathworking and stuff with tarot, but I really like, um, having stuff like this available to me to kind of, uh, it's just, it's just something good for, especially tarot beginners like myself. I've been a beginner for, I don't know, when did I pick up a deck? My first deck I picked up, I think, technically I was like 12 when I got one, but I haven't even seen or heard of that one in years, so we're going to go with probably 2017 was when I picked up my first deck, and yeah, I don't know, I've, I've been kind of doing it my own way forever, but now I'm really interested in, like, being more traditional with it and learning the actual, like, history of the cards and all of that stuff, so... It's been a slow process with that, but at the time, I didn't need another huge hobby to take over my life, and now I don't care. I have the time, so. Um, this one is uh, Who Cooked the Last Supper? A Woman's History of the World. Uh, again, another TikToker recommended this one, and... I'm excited to read it. Because, well, you know, obviously we don't have a lot of history books like this, just for women. So, and we don't learn it in school and all that good stuff. Um, any feminist history, because I was really in my internalized misogynist state during like my, er well, during my 20s basically. Because I had gotten married at 25. Um, I was with the guy I got married to since I was just a shy of 21. So and then he was also much older than me. So I had a lot of things to unpack over the last few years. <laughs> and um, 
my internalized misogyny was definitely the first thing I looked at and needed to come to grips with because I couldn't do that anymore. No more. Um, it was mostly aimed at myself, but I noticed myself projecting a lot on other people, so I didn't want to do that anymore. Um, but I think this is a good addition to my you know, collection of other books by, or about, it's not, this isn't obviously about witchcraft or anything, but a lot of my feminist history so far has derived from witchcraft and pagan, uh, resources. So I wanted a, a more, I think, less spiritual perspective on that. Not that, I mean, it's all tied together, but I think this might be a less, uh, yeah, a less spiritual version. But going right into spirituality, I did get myself a um, copy of the Bible. Mainly because um, that's another part of myself that I've been deconstructing was my Catholic upbringing. I did a video a while back about my deconstruction of it. And I honestly... I'm not very literate in the Bible, to be quite honest with you. I wasn't forced to make, read it in... I didn't go to, like, Catholic school or anything like that. I went to, we call it PSR, Public School Religion. And I went every Monday for all of my formative years. So from kindergarten through eighth grade when you make your confirmation... And then, technically, you're an adult in the church's eyes, which is fucked up, because if you think about it, what are they doing a lot in Catholic churches? Now, it's mostly at younger kids, but still, whatever. Um, it's gross. But that's beside the point. So, yeah, I got this, and honestly, I wasn't sure which one to get. I got this one mainly because it has these big ass margins on the side and it's normal print. Um, the one that I have is large print and though I like the larger print, it's hard to find um, sections. So I wanted to give this one a shot. Um, I'll be honest with you, the cover is really pretty. It has like a the Lord is merciful, gracious, merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. Psalm 103.8. I don't think that that's true, but I'll probably doctor up the cover of that Bible, <laughs> make it my own, because it is a nice cover. Honestly, it is really nice. So, I mean, I'm not going to hate it. It it goes in my mythology section, right next to all of my other mythology books. Uh, my Irish mythology and my Norse mythology. The Bible snuggles on in right next to them. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I will probably bring you along more. Um... I know this is a very long video so far already, like 15 minutes, so if you don't want to stick around, that's totally cool. Um, but if you do, welcome, and uh, I'll see you in my next clip. Okay, hello. It is many hours later. <laughs> hello. I have changed. I have redone the altar, and yeah, um, so I'm going to start from the side and work my way over, I guess. I'm gonna have a seat here. My ottoman here. I've had that for many a year now. Um, so I have just a lamp over here on a book, on a thing, with a thing underneath. Just a shelf. Um, I'll probably put more of my tarot guidebooks out here instead of keeping them in here, which I'll go through later. Um, just because 
I don't tend to go for them if they're in the case. It's kind of, I'll go for the cards, but the books not so much. It's very whatever. Catch-22 or something, so whatever. Um, but yeah, so there's a shelf there. Um, this bowl has some fragrances and little spoons with gems at the top. I got these from my aunt. I don't know where the hell she got them from, but she was going to donate them. And I'm like, hell no, you are not. These are perfect for my little uh, resin incenses to scoop out and put a, um, on the charcoal brick. And then, or like ground up herbs and stuff. So yeah, no. And this is just a pop it that I made for Self Love September a few years ago. And, um, it's really, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's crooked, so it's not, the neck is all, I don't know if I did that on, I don't remember, honestly. I didn't, I don't think I wrote it down either, which was a mistake, but I didn't think about it at the time. I just made this very intuitively and clearly very quickly because it is not symmetrical whatsoever. Um, which I guess, you know... If you wanted to throw some symbolism at it, you could go somewhat... I was being... I was very out of alignment at that point in time. I don't know. I'm just pulling stuff out of my butt. This candle is here. It's the one I keep outside, but it's, like, gloomy and rainy. You get to see all the nice things in my screen because of Salem. Thank you very much. But I plan on replacing the, sh the screen eventually coming up soon here because it's going to be winter and whatever. I don't want to have to do it in the snow. Um, anyway, so this is a cabinet that I found. Um, one of my neighbors was giving it away, so I just asked her if I could have it. I'm going to probably paint the inside at some point, but I'm going to just keep it orange for now, I guess. It's not my favorite color uh whatsoever so uh really not digging it it's it's really not my color but it was a free cabinet and the girl i got it from was really nice and actually stunning and uh it was actually i was embarrassed for myself when she went away because i don't know i just wasn't expecting a very tall blonde woman at my door I was expecting someone much older for some reason. But anyway, I'm freaking mumbling here. Um, yeah, so I've got my cards in here, my card books, um, journals, tarot journal, meditation journal, which I'm embarrassed to say how long it's been since I've actually sat and gone on to the astral because it's just... I've been very, uh, I don't know, it's been just very hard for me to try and do anything involving, I think it's the unmasking, to be honest, um, not that I can't, like, force myself to sit down and, like, do whatever, um, I just, uh, I, I don't know, I've just been shutting my brain off, or trying to in other ways, so, whatever. Um, I'll get back to it eventually. Got some glass jars. This I, um, use to collect rainwater when we have storms and crap. Uh, it's the newest addition, but, uh, since Lilith is associated with the screech owl, I thought that the owl bowl was fitting. I also received this from my aunt. I've done a lot of shopping at her house, you know through her stuff to give away bin. I've got some incenses. My scald glass jar is back there. Cone incenses. Opium, because I'm actually about to be done, but I was burning a stick of that, and it just smells so... I just got that recently. A newer purchase, if you will. This is a little container full of uh, offerings that I rotate out of my offering bowl. I'm sorry, my camera work is really not going to be great today. I'm so sorry. Uh, 
I have, yes, anyway, like, offerings for Lilith, I switch them out through the offering bowl, I re, you know, bless them. Every time I redo my altar, I kind of try to do that, so, um, and then I, I add stuff to the bowl, like, throughout time, so, like, in between redoings of my, um, altar, so, it's, you know, it's just a, a bunch of different knickknacks and things. That's all offerings I've given to her and I don't want to necessarily get rid of yet. So I'll keep them there. Um, essential oils, mortar and pestle, uh, some s cleansing sprays, storm waters back there. Um, this is an essential oil and a uh, herb grinder. Um, I use that just for like breaking rose hips and stuff like that. And let's see. <laughs> These are, oh, sorry. <laughs> These are all the tarot cards for my uh, fool's journey. Um, I haven't used my, it's been killing me, but I haven't used my Rider Waite Smith deck since I started this project. It's been really hard not to just use it, <laughs> but I want, I still want the, you know, full deck when I do go back to using it anyway. Um, yeah, so I keep those here in this little pouch. I don't know. I just like it. It's cute. Again, gotten, got it from my aunt. Um, this stone is my meditation stone for when I do eventually go back on the astral with Lilith. Um... I just like to hold something, and this one, when I found it, I don't remember what it is. I think it's a kind of jasper, uh, but it just reminded me of um, Lilith's domain, uh, her little bit of hell that the brimstone and the cracked dry earth that she would be surrounded by in between flames and stuff, or however you imagine uh, her space to be. That's just kind of how I do. Um, it's just kind of a lot of just flat, dry, like, desert, cracked earth with, like, um, like, almost like geysers, but they're shooting, or volcanoes, I guess. Yeah, I guess they would be considered volcanoes, but they're just kind of constantly blowing and shooting flames and stuff like that. Sorry, I haven't <clears throat> really gotten into too much of deity stuff on here, so that's a little insight, I guess, on what I do with Lilith. Um, this is a squirrel skull, I think, or I'm not really sure. Um, but I received this from my, uh, high school, former high school art teacher, and I was helping her clean out her studio, so she, I found it, she was going to get rid of it, so I took it, and I keep it on my altar. Uh, this is offering bowl for Lilith. I, <laughs> I, I got this. I don't remember where I got this. I think they were handing them out on Mardi Gras at work just for fun <laughs> and well given that according to Lilith's uh, what's it called mythologies that was really loud that's unnecessarily loud for a radio I don't even know if you heard that I have my headphone in um, yeah uh, so Part of her mythology is that she was cursed by God to um, have a thousand or a hundred babies a day, every day, for the end of time, like, until forever. Um, so, that's kind of why I put, and they're demon babies, of course, but, you know, she was cursed, cursed, <laughs> damned to have a uh, hundred every day so I put one in there to represent that 
Um, I think everything else is kind of self-explanatory, just bits and bobs and jewels and rocks and bones. <laughs> um, her candle, this is Kronos's candle. Um, I Kronos is my patron god. And I don't honestly work with him too often. I do like to burn his candle in offering to him every time I burn Lilith's candle. So I'll, I usually will have both going at the same time. Um, I'm not actively calling on him, but I, you know, just kind of honoring him, uh, acknowledging him, you know. Uh, that archetype has really helped me um, kind of uh, heal from like practically losing a decade of my life to um, a very toxic marriage and you know kind of reclaiming my I guess it's um, helping me with my CPTSD in a way. Because I will get... Um, I get triggered quite often still, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, I try to not, like... Let it uh, consume me. Like, there was a point in time where it was just unbearable and unreasonable the amount of uh like flashbacks and shit I was having um sorry not to get too too terribly personal on here uh but you know it is what it is I don't I don't really mind talking about it because it um I don't know it was a significant and very monumental thing that happened to me realizing and finally starting the process of healing my brain, essentially. And figuring out things about myself that I kind of knew was always there, but didn't really know because they don't test girls for anything. So, moving along. Uh, yeah, he's helped me re really heal with my relationship to time. I'll put it that way. I usually, I see him in his, um, like, father time kind of aspect. Um, not so much the, um, you know, vengeful titan, <laughs> um, who was quite awful, to be honest, in the mythos, but, uh, yeah, no, he's good. He's good to me. Um, and I also have this for him as well. It's a little, th I don't know, it just... I liked that sticker. I don't remember where I got it from. But it's the uh, Zodiac. I put the Leo at the top because that's my sun sign. So I figured that would be fitting. Um, since he's also the, you know, time, um, cyclic nature, symbol of... Um, no, that's not what I was going to say. Um, represents just, you know, the passage of time... And, uh, just different, the moon phase, the moon, like, more just like, uh, cycles, you know, the moon cycle, the menstrual cycle. I don't know that he's a direct, you know, <laughs> correlation with that so much, but I kind of all lump them together just because it makes it easier for me. So, yeah, um, yeah. That's that. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in a tangent about Kronos there. Um, this is my representation for Mary. I found it at a thrift store. I know that she's not technically an angel, but I kind of liked it because the uh, Catholic um, elementary school, I guess you will, primary school, um, like the, I think K through eight was Our Lady of Angels, where my parents went, where my aunt taught. So I kind of have a familial connection to that. 
um, it's in Cleveland, so, uh, yeah, Our Lady of Angels, that's kind of why I have this <laughs> in its way. I might paint it, I've been thinking about it, but I don't want to screw it up either, so, um, I don't know, uh, but yeah, this is just like a paper rose that I, I don't know, found it in like a thrift store. Not a thrift store, wow, like a scrapbooking type of kit. I don't know. I just keep it on her wrist. I like it like that. And she holds my tarot card for the month. Um, Alrighty, down here, got my cauldron, got a money jar, and then this is a bowl of... A bowl? A, a, I found this cup in the parking lot actually it was used but it was just coffee so I rinse it out let it dry um I might go back in with more coffee actually to kind of or like I might paint it I don't know I like it the way it is it's like it's kind of aged a little bit it's pretty cool this is mint that I got from my parents front yard they didn't plant it. I think a bird did. <laughs> so they've just had mint growing in their front yard forever and it won't go away. It just keeps getting worse. You know how mint is. <laughs> it's like a weed. Uh, I've got selenite here. This is a poppet I did for self-love September. I just made it like a couple of days ago. It was really quick and easy. Um, oops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, to stuff it, I just, I had a lot of this fabric. I got it in like a, a thing from Walmart I think a long time ago and to cover books. Um, like book covers. Yeah, like the actual physical outer part of the book. Yeah, there we go. Um, but I decided to use it for this and I would just, I used the cutoffs of the other fabric, the other pieces, the bigger pieces. And just shoved them in here. It worked out quite well, actually. So I've got some, I got a pouch of stones in here. I've got, uh, uh, honestly, I don't even remember. I have a piece of paper. Um, but I've got some stuff in it. I also have a jar over here, right here. It has um, nail clippings and hair. I've just been collecting them slowly, and they're eventually going to be added to this somehow. <coughs> Excuse me. I might, like, sew them in, like, in a patch or something like that. I don't, I, I really don't know. I should have, I didn't put them inside because, <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, because, I don't, well, I forgot about them, to be quite honest with you, but after what, after thinking about it, I was like, yeah, I guess it was good, a good idea, since it's not actual, like, foam or anything, so they would just kind of flop around, there wouldn't be <clears throat> anything for them to stick to, if that makes sense, so, I don't know, I didn't want it to be too messy in there. This is a Daria shot glass that I got from Spencer's Gifts. And it's seriously like an ode to my inner teenager um, because I've, well, I mean, people call me Daria. I look like Daria, <laughs> to be honest. I don't even try. It just happens. I think it's the glasses, to be honest. Um, but I have a picture on my Instagram of me with different frames on and it was so unintentional because I wore a Daria shirt, and it was just comical. It was a comical day that day. <laughs> My incense burner here. This is a painting I made in 2018 um, for a watercolor class. It was a self-portrait, and I think, I don't remember, I think maybe the technique had to be used somehow. I don't remember what the exact assignment was. It might have just been paint a self-portrait um but I 
I've always liked it, and I've always wanted to, um, like with my other pieces of art, um, that I will eventually get around to showing, I believe, on here. I wanted to take an old piece of work and doctor it to make it more what I reflect me now. So that's what I started doing with this <laughs> glow-in-the-dark star. It reminds me of high school. <coughs> you know, I was an emo kid, so we would take glow-in-the-dark stars and put them on like those cl uh, little snap clips or bobby pins and clip them into our hair and we did all sorts of crap <laughs> so like that's a start there and then I also have these three pins over here which I didn't realize was covering up by my let me move this over a little bit more of an elf <clears throat> elder emo <laughs> I'm a strong or smart strong sensual woman Thanks, Tina. And Invader's M because, you know, I, I, I am trying to heal my inner teenager, clearly. <laughs> um, honestly, it wasn't even really intentional. It just kind of happened. Um, that was not my intention, but I just realized that it would be a really good idea. <laughs> for self-love September, just kind of, uh, focus on that, and I want, I have the transient light tarot for this, um, I just actually, I had bought it, uh, probably a year ago at this point, and, um, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> Man. Uh, I, I I don't know. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know why I just decided to open it for self-love September this year. It's been sitting unopened. I just cracked the plastic. I just took it out and I just shuffled it after looking at it. And it was just... It's... It's amazing. I haven't really played much with it, but just even that first, I think holding on to it and waiting for the right time to open the deck uh, was powerful. So, uh, yeah, I got a rose quartz on top. Uh, got my meditating skull, uh, skeleton here. Always a favorite. <laughs> I've got just fake flowers in my uh, chalice, and, uh, you know, it's a place for some water or whatever I'm drinking, my blessing water, I just take rain water or snow water or just moon water, whatever, whatever I got, and I put it in here, I put some essential oils in here. I change up the scent every time I refill, uh, so whatever is diluted, I'll usually add a different kind, just to spice it up a little. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's my altar. And uh, right here is a book. I'm not going to show you much of it because it's very, 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 very personal. Um, but it's a book, this is going to be, it's a grimoire, basically, but this is a life book, like a, the magazine, Let's see, the very best of life. I had it for years and years, like a decade, and I didn't do anything with it, so I just liked the size of it. Somebody needs to fix their fire alarm anyway if you can hear that I'm so sorry <laughs> um, but I uh, decided to make it a grimoire because of the size of it and uh, when I went 
to start this, it was, I needed the bigger size. I needed it. I needed it. But I didn't want to make one big painting. I wanted to make pages. I needed to make, it was very visceral, this book, making it, dis- deciding to just destroy, not destroy, but you know, you know, creatively, um, doctor a large, very large book that I've had for many, many years. It was just like a coffee table book. It was really cool. I use, it came with a, uh, um, like a copy of the original, very first, uh, I actually have it. Uh, darn it, it's put away. I don't know where it is right now. But the very, very first uh, issue, they made a print of it and they put it in the back of the book, which I love. Because I now have like another Life magazine for, uh, or did I say Life or Time? It is Life. Sorry. <coughs> oh my. Um, but yeah, so this was, this was a product of a lot of trauma, um, coming to the surface. And I'm, I'm very glad that I decided to go this route instead of, you know, like alcoholism or something. Um, <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, art is my therapy, honestly, and I am a self-proclaimed art witch, so, um, so yeah, I actually went through all of my childhood photographs and artworks and uh, awards and all of the crap that my mom saved and gave to me and I was just, let, it was just sitting there. It was literally just collecting dust. I was about ready to throw it out anyway. So I decided to sort it and chop it up and throw it in a book and you know whatever it is what it is I don't care about it because to me it's just sitting around doing nothing so I made a book I'll just show you the first first page or so Yeah, you can see this one too. But yeah, they were done very quickly. <laughs> um, I was uh, crying a lot of the time. I was just sitting there and staring at the page because I was in the middle of a flashback. It was bad. <laughs> it was strange. I don't know how to describe it other than, um, yeah, strange. It was very, I, I mean, I had to quit my job. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I went for one month without a job and I felt so guilty about it. <laughs> but I 
later realized and learned that it was um, also autistic burnout. <laughs> That's how it presents as a mental breakdown sometimes. I don't think I'll have one of those again because it, it really just kind of was just like an opening of the floodgates. But uh, it took me like five or six months to settle it down completely. Um, I did a lot of healing work, clearly, uh, in that month that I didn't work because I couldn't, I couldn't afford to be off for longer than one month. So... I probably shouldn't have gone back to work yet, but I absolutely needed to. Um, but, you know, uh, between doing this and journaling in a notebook, um, it really helped. And it, I did a lot in a month. I did a lot in a month uh, with no working, and then I... I went back part time. I worked Friday, Saturdays, and Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays until I found my last restaurant job ever. And then, yeah, I don't mean to ramble on. Sorry, that was really probably TMI. <laughs> but again, it's one of those things that I don't necessarily mind sharing because. Part of who I am and part of my story. So, with that being said, I'm going to let you go. Oh, that mirror is permanently dirty. Oops. I should probably clean that. <laughs> That's embarrassing. But anyway, goodbye. Have a great evening or day or whatever. I'm sorry for this really shitty camera work. Okay, bye. <laughs>